Hey, how's it going everybody? In this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to start coding with Java. This series even contains about 15 hands-on projects that we're going to code together. Our final project will be a functioning alarm clock that plays music of your choice. If you've never coded anything in your life, don't worry, we're going to start from the very beginning. I encourage you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I don't like boring introductions, so we're just going to jump right in. To start coding with Java, you'll need two things. A Java Development Kit, also known as a JDK. A JDK contains a compiler. A compiler will compile your source code, your written code, into bytecode, which can run on a machine. You'll also need an Integrated Development Environment, IDE. An IDE is a fancy term for a workspace in which we can write code, because sometimes Notepad just doesn't cut it. We'll get started by downloading a JDK, a Java Development Kit. Okay, here's how to download the JDK, the Java Development Kit. You can easily just Google or do a search for JDK Download. We're going to use the one by Oracle, so we'll click on this link. I'll also post the link in the description of this video, if you would like to access it that way. We will download the latest JDK version. As of the filming of this video, we're on JDK 23. We're going to look for our operating system. I'm running Windows. I will download the 64-bit installer by clicking this link. Then we just have to wait for it to download. The download is complete. We're going to open this executable. Select Next, Next. Our JDK has been successfully installed. We can close it. And that's all we got to do for the JDK. Now we need to install an IDE, an Integrated Development Environment. One I recommend is IntelliJ. You can easily just Google or do a search for IntelliJ Download. We'll select the top link. Now, if you're not brought to this page, let's say you're at a different page, go to the top right where it says Get IntelliJ, click it, and you should be brought to a download page. This version is a 30-day trial, but if you scroll down, there is a free version. This is the Community Edition, because I don't like to pay for things. Select the correct download for your operating system. I'm running Windows. I will download the executable. Once the download is complete, we will open this executable for IntelliJ. Select Next. Choose a destination folder. I'll keep it as is. Click Next. You can create a desktop shortcut. I think I will just for convenience. Now this is important too. You can update the path variable. It basically tells your operating system where to find the executable files. This is useful if you're going to be running Java code from command prompt or terminal, but we won't be doing that in this series. You can always come back later and update this, but we'll just select Next and install. All right, and we can finish. We might as well start IntelliJ right away. I'm going to check this checkbox to run IntelliJ and finish. We should now be at a welcome screen for IntelliJ. We need to create a project. Select New Project. I'll name my project My First Project. Select the latest version of your JDK. I have JDK version 23. There is a checkbox, and it's most likely going to be checked, that says Add Sample Code. Just as a beginner, I recommend unchecking this. It'll auto-generate some sample code for us, but we're going to do that ourselves. I'll show you how. And then Create. Within our project folder, navigate to your source folder. It has a name of SRC. We need to create a main Java file. Go to the top toolbar, go to File, New, Java Class. We'll name this class Main. It's going to contain the main body of our code. Then select Class. Now the font is probably going to be really small. Here's how to change that. Go to the top toolbar, go to Settings, go to Editor, General, and you can check this checkbox for Change Font Size with Control plus Mouse Wheel. Apply. OK. Now you should be able to zoom in if you hold Control and scroll your mouse wheel. 
Now we can actually read something. In Java, in order to get some code to run, you need a main method. Within our class of main, there's a set of curly braces. We'll type the following. Public static void main. Add a set of parentheses, then a set of curly braces. Within the set of parentheses, you're going to type the following. String straight brackets args like you're a pirate. You need this method in order for your program to run. Over the course of this series, we'll learn what each of these keywords means. But as a beginner, think of it as a magic spell that you have to say in order to get your program to run. To run your program, you're going to click this green arrow. Or you can hold Shift plus F10. If we have written the main method successfully, we should have no errors. It says processed finished with Xcode 0. That means everything is running fine. If I were to delete this main method, we can't actually run the program. So be sure that that method is in. To output some text to the console window, we're going to type system with a capital S dot out dot print. Add a set of parentheses, then a semicolon. In Java, you'll end most of your statements with a semicolon. It's kind of like a period at the end of a sentence in the English language. Within the set of parentheses, we'll add a set of double quotes. Whatever we would like to output, we're going to type within the set of double quotes. Think of a food you like. I'll type, I like pizza. And then we can run this, and this should be the output. Again, I'm going to go to the green arrow, or you can hold Shift F10, and a console window should pop up that says, I like pizza, or whatever your favorite food is, whatever you typed here. Let's add another line of code. Again, type system.out.print. End it with a semicolon. Within quotes, what should we type? I like pizza. It's really good. Let's run it again. All right, here's our output. I like pizza. It's really good. Now, these are both on the same line. To move your output down to the next line, you can use print ln, meaning print line. Now it should look something like this. I like pizza. It's really good. If you type backslash n, that's an escape sequence for a new line. And that works too, besides print line. I like pizza. It's really good. Let's add another line of text. System.out.print or print line. I like pizza. It's really good. Buy me pizza. And I'll add a new line character. I like pizza. It's really good. Buy me pizza. Or again, you could use print line. So print ln for print line. And this will do the same thing. Now you can write a comment. Comments aren't displayed as output. To write a comment, you use two forward slashes. And the text should be grayed out. Comments are good as notes for yourself or for other developers. Let's add a comment that this is my first Java program. When we run this, this won't display as output. It's really just used as notes. We still have our output. It hasn't changed. You can even add a multi-line comment with a forward slash, then an asterisk. To end a multi-line comment, you need an asterisk, then a forward slash. I'll write this is a multi-line comment. This won't output either. We don't see either of these comments. This is specific for IntelliJ, but you can change the console font and the colors. I kind of find this hard to read. To do that, we're going to go to the top menu, under File, go to Settings, under Color Scheme, go to Console Font, here, you can change the font if you would like, or the colors. I'll change the colors. I'll make the output bright green so it's easier to read. I'll go to Console, 
Standard Output, and select a new color. I'll select something green. Apply. And I think that looks pretty good. It's more readable that way. I'll also change the system output too. I'll make it kind of grayed out. That's pretty good. Yeah, and there's our output. I like pizza. It's really good. Buy me pizza. Now a shortcut to type system.out.println, if you're using IntelliJ, is to type S-O-U-T, then hit tab. That's going to auto-generate a print line statement for you. I didn't realize this trick until a little bit later. So you don't always need to type out this statement. You can just auto-generate it. All right, everybody, and that is your first Java program. Your homework in the comments section is to post three print line statements. Maybe type a poem or some song lyrics or something. And well, everybody, that is your first Java program.